Okay guys, the video I'm going to show you today um, is um, it's called Van Gogh and Impressionist Paintings Grayscale Coloring Book. Um, it's by Isa Bella or Isabella, yeah Isabella, Isabella Art Therapy. Um, it's got 53 original images uh, for reinventing unique masterpieces. Okay. And this is just a few of the ones that they have in here. They show how it's black and white and kind of what the original would look like. And I have a couple of issues with this book. And as I go through and flip the pages, I'll show you as I went along. Um, I do have to say that the, um, the artist sent this to me and um, she is aware of the issues that I have and I think she's uh, working with the publishers to take care of um, the images I'm going to tell you about. Okay, first off, um, her name is Andrea Ob Obidic, O B I D I C, <coughs> and um, there are all kinds of impressionist artists in here: Monet, Renoir, Degas, Monet, Cezanne, Cassatt. I'm not even saying all of them right. Van Gogh, I think I said that. Um, they're just some of the most, they're beautiful. I don't know what else to say. They're gorgeous. Um, they're all grayscale. And I think that that is part of the issue that I'm having as I was coloring. Um, I'll show you when I get to that page. But the paper, you can't really tell but it is like an off yellowish kind of um, color, like a cream color. I know the lighting in here is a little bright and it kind of um, flushes it out, makes it look white, but um, it actually is like a yellowy color. So, all right, some of the pictures are um, landscape, some of them are portrait, and on the opposite side, they tell you what the painting, the picture is, who did it, what year, etc. And they're just really, really beautiful. I mean, I have done a lot of grayscale books in the past. Let's see. Let's get to I know I'm going kind of fast, but I want to show you. I love this one. like coloring, you know, all these beautiful works of art. That's Van Gogh himself. Okay, like here. I was coloring this. And this is supposed to be a wheat field, right? And I don't know if you can see it. I hope so. Um, I colored the whole wheat field yellow and I had started blending like a darker yellow um, with it. These were my polychromos. I wrote everything that I used in this book. These are really good pencils, the polychromos. But as you can see, when you try to start blending, everything um, that you try to blend just turns black. Can you see that? So you can't blend anything. Nothing. Um, I think it's just the um, the grayscale or, or the ink that was used on this paper. I'm, I'm not sure. That was one of my first problems. So I said, okay, let me try another page. So this one, I got four or five different um I got four or five different types of mediums to try. You know, I wanted to give the book the benefit of the doubt. Where's that page? Let me see. That face. <laughs> My goodness, where is it? Okay, here it is. This is Renoir, young girl combing her hair. All right. 
first off, the number one thing you can see right off is her face. Her face was done with Winsor Newton uh, markers with the, the flesh tone markers. Um, the white is just a, uh, I was just testing other paint pens and different things like that marker. But look at it. It almost looks like she's got white power all over her face or something. It's very strange. And so I let that go. And I tried over here. This is my Tombow flesh colored markers. Here, here, here. I tried the Tombow. And as you can see again, all of this, because I try to go back with some. Um, some mar uh, pencils to blend it in and it just doesn't work it just you can't do any blending at all so I used the Carondiash on her hair for the first layer and then like a brown layer and then I went back and I used Arteza pencils to put some of the red in and as soon as I started trying to blend it let me go because you can't really see on camera as soon as I start start blending it, can you see it right here? It just turns black. Um, this portion is a different Tombow uh, in that um that package is different colored um flesh color. Um, and then this was a Jane Davenport um, flesh colored overpaint pencil that I tried with no success. Um, the gray worked out fine. This is an Arteza pencil, but that was because I didn't try to blend. I'm sure if I tried to blend this, this would all, yeah, see, it's just black. And if you go over it, even with the pencils, when you when you start drawing with your pencils, it still just turns everything black. See, it's just you can't do much with this paper. Um, but like I said, I did tell the um, artist, and I'm sure she is um, getting with the publisher on this book because I know it'd be really nice if the paper didn't do that. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hate to, um, you know, criticize anybody, but it is what it is. I'm just showing you guys that, you know, buyer beware. Um, it, 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 you can't color on it. It just, see? So, all right. If you have any questions about this book, let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I'll post a link to it in the bottom. And um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. If you haven't hit that sub, please do. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.